So let's bring Michael Lane in right now on Action Sports Shacks on ESPN 690. Oh, well, there you go. Brent That's Martin, a nice introduction. Former Jags player, current MMA fighter, Austin Lane, my co-host, Michael. And, and I'll ask you the same thing that my wife always tells me to ask Austin Lane when it comes to <laughs> MMA and being in a cage. Like, why do you do that? <laughs> that's the question. That's how we start. Why do you do this? Yeah, you know, and that's a that's a great question because um, we're riding, we're we're a lot into motivation and positive stuff, and you have to have a why for everything that you do in life. And uh, you know, my why my why is it's, it's a passion that I've done for such a long time, and it provides a a good life for my family coming up. Well, you're coming to Jacksonville this weekend. Uh, how fun is this to be able to get, you know, doing what you're doing, but out in front of fans again after the last year? I mean, it's uh, that's kind of what, why you do what you do as well, I would assume. Part entertain, you feed off that crowd. Uh, what will it be like in Jacksonville? Oh, yeah. We're we're always excited to come to the Sunshine State and just enjoy all its weather. And the atmosphere always, the energy is always good in Florida. So we're always looking forward to it. Michael, when we're talking about like what makes a great bull rider, obviously, you know, you know, you, you can't have that fear. But like, is it the grip strength? Is it just the overall body strength? Is it the size? Like, what makes a great bull rider? Oh, uh, just the time, the time that you put into it, and and like anything, not only the time that you put into it, but what you've done with that time. Um, I always tell a lot of people. Ten years ago, it was just cowboys that went home and worked on the ranches and and that's what they did and then they went and rode bulls on the weekend <laughs> and nowadays it's it, we're turning more into professional athletes like if you're in the top 35 in the world you're spending most all your week at home training and preparing for the weekend well and michael and how do you prepare right because like my co-host said i mean I, I do mma you know if i'm getting ready for an mma fight i just can't go in and spar super hard every single day because that's going to take a toll on my body and by the time the fight comes around i won't be ready to perform from a bull riding perspective like are you riding that bull like pretty much every single day or is there other things that you do to get ready like what what, what is like your training regiment like yeah, i guess so so in my younger age, I did get on a lot of bulls, and you have to do that, like I said, just putting in the time. You have to get on a lot of bulls just to get the feel of it. But as I've gotten older and I rely on more riding to pay, pay my bills and take care of my family, I realize not being healthy, if I'm not healthy, I can't pay my bills. So I don't get on as many practice bulls. Um, I have a, a bull at home that's you, it's a, a, a barrel that we bought that you buy out of Canada. And it just simulates how a bull bucks. Hmm. So I ride that every single day. But I wake up in the mornings and I do like a two-hour kind of lightweight body training. And then I do hot yoga at lunchtime. And then that evening I'll do like conditioning, jump rope, and mix that in with my barrel. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, Michael Lane uh, tell, taking us a little bit behind the scenes. He'll be in town for the uh, PBR Jacksonville Invitational this weekend. Tickets available, by the way, on Ticketmaster uh, to check it out and, and Listen, uh, watching these guys do their thing is fun. Uh, I always say this, Michael. I say, in all seriousness, and people don't believe me, Austin played football uh, in the NFL, and now he's in a cage. From the football standpoint, I wouldn't play the game for a million dollars in a series. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It's yeah. just too violent. I'm, and I'm, I guess I'm that much of a wuss. Uh, would I be better off getting a million dollars to ride a bull one time should i do that if given the option <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean uh it 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 would it would have a it would be a tough a tough challenge not not knowing anything and and just going into it like that i know there was an nfl player i wish i could remember his name uh, it's been a few years back but he actually came to one of the events and and got on the bull it was the, the bull days off and he lasted like two seconds but it was just a really cool he wanted to experience it and do it and and they let him come to the the biggest level of bull riding and do it so that was really cool that is see cool. i'd be doing like, like a calf or something i wouldn't be doing the bull like there's no way i, I would say like i rode a <laughs> yeah. bull and it would be like a cow like yeah. that's what i was saying and it was a bull like <laughs> yeah, just, well, you can. just for the story <laughs> i think for a million bucks just, i think they check yeah well then, then i would photoshop <laughs> myself on like a real bull like, that's what i would do yes. you know I, I, i've always been like super interested of the psyche of any kind of professional athlete and when we talk about bull riders 
like you know when i played football you had to get psyched up right i played defensive linemen it's all about intensity it's all about physicality so like you get to a frame of mind like where you're amped up and you're ready to roll with bull riding like do you find yourself going into that kind of mode too or is it a little more like relaxed and just you know breathe through it to kind of focus on what you're doing i guess is it more physical or is it more mental at the end of the day definitely it, it definitely requires both uh, but if you don't if you don't have the mental aspect the physical aspect can't play its part so yeah you go into it and you just shut everything off you don't hear the crowd you don't see nothing you're just focused on how calm your mind was at in hot yoga that week and how simple <laughs> your thoughts were at that point so you you really just keep everything simple and calm so the things that you you teach your body throughout the week your brain can take a hold of and just naturally react because if we have to think the bull is going left or right there's not a chance in the world that that we're going to make that happen our body has to react to what he's doing isn't that crazy brent trying to turn off your mind essentially like you're in yoga yeah on top of a bull and it makes That's sense fascinating. to me that and does it makes make sense, sense. Well, right? easier said than done though. well no i couldn't do it i just say it <laughs> yeah. makes sense like it yeah. does make sense it's a great For comparison sure. I, I i listen to all the athletes we talk to and everybody does yoga now and and i think about what michael's talking about right now and uh, you probably say that to people and they say what you do what you do yoga isn't it crazy <laughs> yeah, how much sure. of a, a thing like you even said like it's transitioned to where you take care of your body like mm -hmm. like a professional athlete but that's a new transition in in your world too michael but yoga is very much a part of that. It's it's like you said, hey, I do yoga 10 years ago. They'd be laughing at you. And now it's like oh, it's yeah. part of the I mean, routine. Three years ago, they were laughing at me until I took them with me, and then they respected it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wild thing, like in, in the sports world, how many people utilize it. And I could see how that would help you. Hey, you're from Virginia, man. How many bull riders are from Virginia? I think bull riding, I think Texas. I think Wyoming. I think Montana. I think I don't think Virginia very much. Yeah, and, and most people are that way. I, I grew up um, in North Carolina pretty much ever since I graduated high school, and there was a lot of bull riders at that point in time. That, that's that been 10 years ago. And, you know, just things have faded off. They've gotten hurt or the drive just hasn't been there or, you know, the, the, the wrong paths, and it's narrowed down to where there's very, very few of us. But I have so many brothers that I've made throughout the years over the country that, but I don't feel like I'm any different just because of where I'm from. When I show up, I, I feel the brotherhood of all my, my buddies that I've been around my entire life. So, yeah, there, there's not a lot of guys out here. And a matter of fact, I think, you know, in, to make the world finals from Virginia, there's only ever been two guys total. Wow. Wow, how about that? That's an exclusive company then. Michael Lane with us, Action Sports Jacks on ESPN 690. Wrapping up with you, man. Unleash the Beast, PBR, Jacksonville Invitational coming up this weekend at the arena. You can get the tickets at Ticketmaster.com. It's fun spending some time with you. Now, don't say Jacksonville here. I'm not. you got to eliminate Jacksonville. But what's your – I've seen some rodeos like in Wyoming – I uh, saw one like this uh, Friday night thing in, in a place called Carefree, Arizona, which was kind of cool. We took the family to. Uh, I've seen some and, and bull riding in, in various places, which is neat. Do you have a favorite place to ride where you're like, man, you gotta, if you were going to tell Austin and I to go experience it and watch it and feel it, where, what would you say? Uh, Cyan Frontier Days is probably – Frontier it, Days. It's one of the biggest – biggest ones going on and it's it's just a, a western atmosphere it's, it's a really big venue it's been going on for a, a really long time so Cheyenne Frontier Days is, is something that people always remember when they go there I've been there too man and that's oh, nice. I thought you were going to say that I didn't mention that on my list but I thought I was like I wonder if that is big as big to the the bull rider as it is to uh the fans all right leave us with this where is bull riding as a sport like give us a like a temperature check on it. Is it thriving? Is it doing well? Is it are there things transitioning? I mean, all sports have these moments. Where do you see it as a as a guy who's world class and thirty one years old? Where's the sport of bull riding at? Bull riding's growing leaps and bounds. Um, me being in it for ten years from the time I started till to where we're at now, it's it's crazy to see the way that things change, the way the athletes handle it. Uh, and, and what's really elevated is that, that I think you y'all will think this is cool is the Brazilians are uh, a world class athletes. They're very very good mm -hmm. at, at riding their bulls. And with that being said, they leave their own family, they leave their own country, they come to our our country with one thing on mind, and that's ride bulls. And they work as a team. 
so that's it's really cool to see them but that's all that's done for us is just elevate us and and made us better and it's just made the sport grow as well too that's pretty cool i lied to you i do have one more question is there a bull that you like don't want to ride this weekend like how much homework do you do on the bull and he's scouting. You know, there's, yeah. always, there's always this one when you walk up, you're kind of like, man, I hope that one's not mine. But, you know, we don't ever really think about that. It it don't matter. All that will matter is the, the bull that's beside my name. I just have to do my job in riding. No matter what his stats are, I still have to do the same thing. Hey, Michael like Lane, it. get it done this weekend, man. Have a lot of fun. We appreciate you taking a few minutes. Awesome. Thank you all for talking with me. All right. That's uh, Michael Lane, uh, PB.